so I expect a lot of work, a lot of enthusiasm, and I hope that these three days actually uh, will help our Europe to get better. <laughs> We are here, so uh, if we do something now, maybe in four or five years we see Europe being a better place to live. So I've been waiting a couple of months for that and I'm very happy to be here already. Le mie aspettative per oggi sono molto alte perché dopo tre incontri abbiamo tirato fuori un sacco di idee ottime per il migliorare il futuro dell'Europa, soprattutto per quanto riguarda l'immigrazione. Speriamo di arrivare a un punto comune per tutti e che queste idee vengano poi messe e atte. And democracy has to be changed and, and cherished all the time. And this is how we strengthen our democracy, because you can't wait four or five years to listen to citizens in elections. It's not enough. So we want to fill in this uh, space between two elections and to narrow the gap which exists between policymakers and citizens. And I think this potentially can enforce the sense of meaningful involvement, which helps citizens feel that they are part of a multi-level process. We are talking about a lot of important topics and a lot of important things that could really benefit the European Union and it's been a great uh, experience so far. It's, it's hard work and it's, it can be exhausting at times but it's uh, really good. Interesting uh, conversations uh, with people. So overall my experience has been uh, uh, quite good. We work really hard so that the politicians understand everything we mean correctly and every, everything we want to say. This conference is a unique opportunity uh, to involve citizens in the decision-making process of the European Union. And that's completely new. Uh, it, it, uh, it, brings, it produces a number of very clear, ambitious, courageous uh, recommendations from, uh, from the side of the citizens. I must say I observed very interesting dynamics, so I see that people are very engaged, very committed. Um, I think I have seen also exciting ideas, but I also see that they are struggling, because indeed the European Union is of course a complex machinery, and of course not everybody has all, all the knowledge to, to understand the technicalities. So, uh, but overall, I think uh, that people will focus on the big themes and, and I have seen very inspiring ideas. It was a very respectful and constructive dialogue that we had. We managed to reach a lot of compromises, so which was good because giving the different backgrounds of people, you know, the different countries, the different political orientations also, that was very, very nice. At this weekend, we, we did a great job, but the process in general, I think um, it's slow and too big an ambassador, um, so I talk with the politicians and uh, my experience with the politicians is that they don't listen. It uh, was a good experience to, uh, to see how the politicians uh, on the European, uh, in the European parliaments are working. Uh, it's a little bit similar to uh, uh, the way we were working today and uh, in the other sessions. It's life changing. It really is. I'm not overdoing it. It totally changes the way how you see your position as a citizen, how you see Europe, how you see your future, and the way how you should act in Europe. Uh -huh.